Taurus, huh? Taurus, babies. Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in again, Taurus. Appreciate your time and your view. You know I do. Uh, thanks for hitting the subscription button while you're thinking about it. And thanks for hitting that like one more time too, Taurus. Uh, as usual, I want to say thank you for your many, many gifts. All my Taurus friends, huge givers around here. If you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, Taurus, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. I got a big giveaway coming up. We're about halfway there. It's going to be on January 31st. Um... It's going to be on uh, January 31st, um, I think, I think, that's a Tuesday, I may do it on a, I may do it on a Sunday, which is the 28th, or the 29th, anyway, I'll figure that out, anyway, anyway, I'm giving away a FaceTime reading, somebody in this big beautiful world, if you got a telephone, we can connect with FaceTime wherever you are in this world. Uh, I'm going to give away some t-shirts, some uh, tarot decks, and the grand prize of FaceTime reading with me. All you got to do, all you got to do to enter is just leave me a comment. Give me a happy face, Taurus. Give me a high mic. Uh, I'm going to send you back a little pink ticket to let you know. I put your name in the barrel. Best of luck to all that enter. I'm having fun with all that. I feel like I'm getting to know everybody. Everybody sticks around here, you know. I mean, if you do that, if you do that regularly with me and I'm writing your name down on a piece of paper, I'm going to connect my energy with you anyway. Anyway, Taurus, your cards, they, boy, they want to talk, don't they? So let's do it. Taurus, these are relationships, threads. They're going to talk about home, work, family, the kids, the neighbors. But you know me, I'm looking for a love story around here. I've got a couple of love cards. I'm going to be playing with Cyril Marchetti's Voice and Vision. And uh, I'm going to freestyle with this around here today. I'm also going to clarify with my Tarot Illuminati some love cards because I am looking for a love story. And a couple of major connas. All that being said, Taurus. Taurus. Let's see what's going on around here. Taurus, babies. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Let's cut it, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What are we talking about? Wow, the world card. Capricorn just pulled that. Capricorn just pulled this. Ain't that interesting? My Earth baby is completing cycles around here, big ones. This is the major arcana, right? Lots of, lots of, uh, lots of cycle change cards, but this is the big one right here, you know. It takes a minute to get to it because it's a major arcana. You have to go through all 21 steps. You have to go through the fool's journey, you know, to get to the world card. Talks about completion of an old cycle and a new cycle coming in. Being a major arcana, I mean, these cards can talk about maybe even up to a decade of things being upside down. Looks like they're about to turn right side up. What's going on around here? Taurus has 10 cups in this beautiful deck. That's a dream, right? Oh, and there's a dream card right there, a star. It's a big Aquarius energy on that. Aquarius Major Arcana. The, the world card is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. You got 10 cups right there, man. It looks to me like you're moving in a new direction, following your bliss. Can this say that very much? Taurus, following your bliss. It's a new world right here, man, where dreams come true. What's this about? This is the one that I picked up off of the floor. It jumped out of the deck. It's, it's the old three swords right there. It's the old three swords, you know. Uh, there's too many swords to begin with. There's three of them right there, the dreaded three. But, you know, this is this is a breakup card for somebody. And uh, it can be challenging. I'm going to do my little spiritual surgery right here, Taurus. 
I'm going to shake these swords out. Are you ready? Here we go. Out, out, out. Out of Taurus' heart. Out of Taurus' spread. This is some kind of movement right here. This is some kind of movement. After three swords, um, getting in the boat. Learned a lot of life lessons wherever we've been at. Heading over to what Mikey calls Paradise Island. Let's see if we can break this down here a little bit. Let's break it down. Taurus, baby, is getting in Six of Swords boat. That's a, that's a card of movement mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Eventually gets around to physically. Physically busting a move. Let's go. There's a dance of change. Two pins. You know, I mean, this character right there looks like they may be giving their coin to somebody new. It is a dance of change. It's two pinnacles for me. It's a great card about finding your inner balance within yourself. Finding your inner balance within yourself. You may be considering an offer in a new direction. Taurus. 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 Queen of Wands came out. Hmm. That's fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Um, Queen of Wands energy is also somebody that knows their worth, Taurus. Somebody knows how amazing they are. Uh, Queen of Wands is brash and bold. Queen of Wands goes against what they want or who they want. Interesting, man. You're definitely completing a cycle right here. Looks like you're coming out okay to me. Taurus. Taurus, what's going on? Give me a card for Taurus, please. Oh, yeah. There it is. Nine pins. That's my independent, self-assured, confident business person right here. It looks like, uh, you know, completing, this, com com completing cycles. And... Um, I don't know. Are you thinking about giving your coin to somebody? It is a dance of change here. Ah, uh, the world card. Yeah, go get your ten cups. Your ten cups is on this board right up there by the star. Hmm. Maybe somebody at a distance from you. Wow. <laughs> um, I said wow because there's four wands right there. Let's put this right up here by the star, huh? Four wands, ten cups, the star. Uh, we do got a nine wands right there. That's my wounded warrior. That's somebody has got no quitting sense, Taurus, huh? That old bulldog tenacity. No quitting sense right here. Taurus, on the, on the top over here, man, it is absolutely gorgeous. You may be getting in a boat at this particular point in time. Doing the dance and change. Yeah, let me show you these majors. It's the top and off your spread right here. The world. Ten cups. The star. To four wands. Definitely following your bliss for some of you. You may have recently become single. And looking for that old golden coin, huh? I like that Queen of Wands energy because she's going to go get what she wants, male or female, Taurus. So, kind of, you got nice energy up here, but you're following your bliss, realizing how amazing that you are. Give me something on this. Taurus, 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 someone that nine pins. Taurus. And a fool came out. <laughs> Where are we going, Taurus? Where are we going? That's a pool card. It's a major. It's Aquarius, Aries. It's about a fresh start and a new beginning. A leap of faith says you're leaving a bunch of drama behind. Leaving a bunch of drama behind. And there's a Queen of Swords right there. Oh, lordy. Leaving old Queen of Swords energy behind. No wonder there's all these swords over here. You know, Queen of Swords. It's, you know. They can be sharp, boy. They can be sharp, male or female. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Give me some on this right here. Where's, where's the fool jumping to? Where's the fool jumping to? <laughs> I don't know, man. 
I see you being very defensive. That is seven of wands. Hey, this is my hero's card. Look, takes a minute to get to the hero's card, don't it, Taurus? You know, especially Taurus babies, you're like, well, Aquarius. We're fixed, right? Once we give our heart to a situation, it can be, it can, it can take a minute to uh, regroup, right? Two of Pentacles, a dance of change. Seven of Wands is my hero's card. It's about somebody that's decided to stand up and do what's best for them. Uh, putting, putting themselves up in the front of the card of life. No, no matter if anybody likes it or not, there may be some people that don't like this new change in Taurus's world. I'm trying to find who, who we might be jumping towards. There is a king right here, a king of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. That came out right there. So I got a Queen of Wands energy. I got a King of Cups energy on this. And that is, well, that's water and that's fire. There's a lot of passion around here between those two. I like that it's two. It's, it's, a, it's a King and a Queen. All right, let's break this down here a little bit for Taurus. Looks to me like Taurus has decided to stand up and do what's best for you. and Put yourself first. First, Taurus babies. So, who are you thinking about right here? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this uh, King of Cups for who you might be thinking about. They were the last one that came out. And uh, I use this Queen of Wands for your energy. That's somebody that's decided to do what's best for them. And move in a new direction in life. All right, give me some. So Taurus, Taurus, give me some on this old King of Cups right here. What's Taurus friend thinking and feeling about Taurus? What's Taurus friend thinking and feeling about Taurus? Give me one, give me one, Taurus. Oh wow, they're thinking about uh, the Wheel of Fortune, wow. Uh, that's a major arcana, it's the Wheel of the Return too. I always see, you know, that potential in here. Hmm. Could be a return. Could be somebody that would be interested in some kind of return for you, Taurus. It seems to say that they think you're the Empress, male or female. This is a Taurus card right there. Hmm. See, there needs to be some communication here, too. I haven't got any of my pages here. They could be wondering um, about you if you're single. Or they, I, this person right here, they, they, they don't really know what's going on with you is what it says to me. Again, I don't see any pages on here. Well, here we go. Somebody's going to bust the moon. They're waiting. They're waiting. <laughs> They're waiting for their lover. <laughs> They're waiting for their lover, Taurus, is what it says to me. Oh, these two just need to talk, man. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, man. All right. Your friend, what are they thinking and feeling about you, Taurus? The Empress came out. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Destiny. The Wheel of the Return. They don't know if you're single or not. Uh, with Nine of Pentacles by Seven Cups, I would say that you haven't been speaking with this individual right here. They don't know what's going on. They may be waiting for you <laughs> to bust a move, right? Nine of Pentacles to the lovers. What is going on with Taurus, please? Inquiring minds want to know, Taurus. Give me a couple cards to Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? Oh, the Queen of Love just showed up. Oh, the queen and the king of love. Oh. Oh, the king and the queen of love are here. Well, yeah, no wonder the star is here. No wonder ten cups is here. No wonder four wands is here. Hmm. The more I'm looking at this too, right, that, that old queen of wands could be, oh, and I said that right there, and there's a queen of wands right there. What I was going to say is that Queen of Wands could have been somebody that got in the way of these lovers right here, right? A lot of tarots call that uh, a karmic energy. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. But as soon as I start talking about it, and notice that Queen of Wands right there, male or female, 
Hey, there may have been some people. There may have been some people in the way right here, but I think it's time for my two. At least to pick up the phone and talk. Taurus, what's going on? My queen of love. Oh, and justice. <laughs> Taurus looking for justice in your love life, man. Well, you know, we get these kind of people. If this is what we would call the karmic, you know, the one, the, you know, the karmic is, is the lesson bringer, you know. As soon as we get those lesson bringers out of the way, well, you did right there with the world card. It says you completed. There's no more lessons to be learned over there. There's no. If this is another person in this story, there's no more lessons to be learned from them. Huh? My lovelies have learned everything that they need to learn from. Well, what we would call a karmic. A karmic is just a. It's an earth school teacher. And then justice came out on that. Now that's got a sword on it, don't it? That's got a sword on it right there, but it talks about justice coming in in your love life. Taurus, Taurus, what's going on with Taurus right here? Taurus. Oh, wow, a <laughs> major arcana. Death card, big Scorpio. Death and rebirth, it's really powerful here. Ooh, really powerful, my queen of love. Really powerful, yeah, the nine of swords, you know. Because there may have been the lesson bringer that got in the way around here, you know. Maybe, maybe on both sides. I got, I got the lesson bringer for both sides right here. I do. I got the lesson bringer for both the king and the queen of love. Well, I hope you guys are firing that old lesson bringer, right? Hope you guys are firing that lesson bringer. <laughs> well, death and rebirth, death and rebirth. And this person over here, man, they think you're the cat's meow. Huh? Mm -hmm. Looks to me like they would just love to hear from you. Um, yeah, they would love to hear from you, or vice versa. You guys have been watching each other. That's a page right there. Now we're getting communication cards showing up. Nice. Nice. That's what's needed here, if you ask me. <laughs> and there's Michael right there. <laughs> Michael's been watching this story, too. That's a great alchemist right there, huh? It's also a, uh, it is also a reconciliation card. Oh, oh, damn. Bomb da de bomb da de, hey? Hey? For Taurus. Nine cups. To the sun. Oh, this, oh my God, look at this right here. Oh my goodness, man. The sun and the moon came out. That's divine masculine energy and that's divine feminine energy right here. To four of wands out of this deck, Taurus. And to the world card. That was the first card that came out. It's also the last one I'm pulling out. It's about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning right here with Taurus and somebody that's very, very special to you. Give me a love card on this for Taurus. 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 Getting to know each other. There we go. I told you communication picked up here. Picked up here in my spread. Oh, see, reconciliation. You may know who this is. You may know who this is. Do what's best for you. As long as you guys got the lesson teachers out of the way. You guys get the lesson teachers out of the way. You know, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing is that I should just share a little bit right here, Taurus. We're law of attraction. We're all learning, you know, to attract what we want. But I think, personally, I think as I study it anymore, the biggest thing about law of attraction is this release right here. Releasing ourselves from things that we don't want any longer. Releasing ourselves from that energy right there so that that which we do desire can actually come in and I see potential for well I see two karmic two lesson bringers on your spread right here. I Know that yours is gone right there because of three swords and This person just waiting for you to contact him is what it said trust 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 in yourself Trust in the divine. Trust in your friend. Trust came out. You deserve love. 
and staying optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance that you desire with right there, Taurus. It's a nice spread, man. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Give me a major on here for Taurus, please. Yeah, you pulled a fool card. You know, that's how the tarot goes, man. It's the fool's journey. This is so powerful. Taurus says you completed a cycle right here with whatever that is over there. And opened up a new world. See, this is 21. This is zero. It's a restart. Starts with the fool's journey. You go all the way through 22 steps of the major arcana. You hit the world card. You learn all the cycles, all the life lessons that you need from these uh, these uh, these earth teachers right here. And then there's a fresh start and a new cycle begins. That, that's really powerful right there, Taurus. A fool card on the world card. Give me one more for Taurus, please. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever it'll be, it'll be. And a tower. And a tower. And a tower. That is about sudden change. And then, wow, there's some movement. Big cancer on the chariot right there. Taurus, if you made it to this part of the video, thank you so very much for your spread. Hope you enjoyed the read. That I do. It looks like uh, everybody cleared out all the lesson bringers. Very, very nice, Taurus. Hopefully, I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, Taurus, smash that subscription button right there. Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button if you would. And uh, I'll pull cards in a few short days. Looks like you're off on a new adventure. May all your dreams come true, Taurus. Love and light. Bye for now.